Well, what do we got here? We got the Reich knife. And this is not the small hummingbird. This is a new one for 2020 called the Hummingbird Plus. Take a look at it. It's not quite the same kind of materials as the original Hummingbird. Let's throw this all around. Which my wife has two of. These have a Damasteel blade. These are titanium frame locks. Very small knives. Okay. And they've been up on mass drop or drop several times, several go rounds for that at around $75 a piece. But this one is much larger, and this is around 120. This is not Damasteel. This is N690, as you can see there. Okay. This is a contoured carbon fiber scale with blue in it. Uh, and I guess maybe you'd call it shred. But they just call it carbon fiber as a description. A blue backspacer in G10. And then steel liners. But they're coated. But they're definitely steel. The, hard, the hardware is magnetic. Actually, the pocket clip's not magnetic. So we will check that out further later on. Because we will do a disassembly on this knife. It came in a box like this. Uh, Hummingbird Plus Blue Carbon Fiber. They also come in a red carbon fiber like this, except for the blue is not, it's red. And then uh, a G10 type material. It looks like a kind of a tan color with green streaks running through it. So check that out on Keto. USA, and I'll give you the link for their site. Uh, Ian Wu is the guy I met from there, and he's the main uh, main operator. But lots of different types of Reich knives on their site. Really cool looking. And this one is no exception. When I saw it, uh, being available, I thought, how cool was that? Take the hummingbird, make it full size. So this sucker is full size. And here's a little blurb, Reich knife, hummingbird. There's your stats, N690 blade, carbon fiber, four and a half ounces, 120 grams, flipper, 8.25 overall. Hummingbird Plus, and you know, so it would be the same size basically as the Paramilitary 2. Okay. Let's check the blade length. Mm, under three and a half, but 3.35 here and down here, you know. It's three and a half to the mid part of that choil. So you make that call. Eh, probably a 3.35 inch uh, cutting length. And what does that give us? Eh, around 90 millimeters. You know, 87 to 90 millimeters, depending on where you want to measure that blade length. And yeah, just a touch over eight inches overall which is 20 and a half centimeters so maybe just a hair shorter overall length in the paramilitary two feels nice it's a little heavier than the pm2 this is over four ounces where the pm2 is 3.8 but it's not a huge difference 4.25 at 120 grams feels good i like the i like the ergos on this knife right here your palm swell coming back uh really gives you nice grip 
Yeah, 0.54 of an inch, 13.7 millimeters, and let me see if I can get up here and measure without hitting that pocket clip. 0.56, let's get back to the tail before I get to these screws. And I'm probably sitting on top of that pocket clip, but it's flush with the scale. So 0 0.51, 13, so 13.8 up here. So it varies along this knife uh, because of the contouring that's going on here. But nicely done. Feels good fit and finish wise. And the action was not like this when I got it in the box. It was not. It was definitely more stiff. I'd push this lock bar to release it and it wouldn't drop. But now it is really, really buttery smooth. Um, I don't know how I remedied that. I know I took it apart just to kind of look it over and wiped it down and put some KPL or some kind of pivot lube on it and put it back together. And then I think they just had this basically screwed down a little too hard. So first thing, if it, if it doesn't drop real, really nicely when you get it, just back that pivot off a little bit. I mean, it's centered, okay? And there's no blade play on this, okay? So there was some adjustment. They had it down a little tight. And there's your lockup, which is maybe 25% at best. But, oh yeah, feels good here. You can kind of creep up on this blade a little bit, but not too much. It's not a very big choil, but it's good for sharpening. And it's very sharp. It's got that bead blast finish there on the blade. Nice. I like that drop. Feels good when it does that. And as you can see, you can thumb flick, middle finger flick. This knife really got a lot of uh, fidget factor to it here. By the time it hits you on the thumb, that flipper tab hits you on the thumb like that, it's over the detent ball, dropping nice. Ooh, it feels good. Four and a half ounces, not that heavy. Oh, 4.2, I'm sorry. Yeah, not bad at all. Good looking knife. I like the looks of it. Obviously, very different from this. And you know, these came with a little, with a little uh, lanyard. And so check these out. These are cool. I mean, these are, these are interesting, but they're very, very tiny. Very tiny. Somewhat usable for God only knows. If you want to open an envelope, maybe. Uh, something like that. But very much ornamental, I'd say, in nature. One and a half to 1.6 inch blade. At three and three quarter overall length. So, it is what it is. I think they're really nicely done for what they are. A lot of machine work in here, the damascus steel blade, all that. So a lot of uh, jewelry to wear around your neck. I mean, really as, as a little neck piece, very nicely done. And they come in a lot of different colors as well. This one, put it in your pocket, pocket clip, Looks pretty good. Usually I like it to, when if it's going to come up like that to kind of level off a little bit afterwards. But it's a long pocket clip. Would have been nice if it was deep carry. But it's not. And it doesn't look like it's reversible because this is machined in here where this uh, pocket clip is level. Uh, but these these screws are right in there, so there's no room for that. And it's not machined on the other side for that capability. So it's a right hand tip-up only, but really smooth. 
Great design. I like the looks. Detent is not terribly, terribly heavy. It's not, uh, which is good because I want to finger flick it lazy style, thumb flick it, and that works really well. Okay, uh, I'd give it maybe a 3.8 to a 4.0 on my detent scale. On the, on the lighter side of most flippers, uh, although many of them have been around four to four and a half, uh, not many have been over five on my detent scale, but this is really nice. Very nice. Very appropriate. Yes, I can fail it, but it's really smooth. Easy to kick open with just a lazy flip. Backspacer again gives you some traction here. Lanyard holes built into that. The screws are nice because they're like a socket head machined kind of look. So, not bad. Plunge looks symmetrical. Blade shape looks very usable. And of course, you got jimping on this thumb ramp here. Let's take this part, drop this out of here, and we've got some number six screws here, so yeah, it'd be nice if they were all number eights. It'd be nice if this was a deep carry pocket clip. It'd be nice, you know, there's, there's things on certain knives that, you know, it, that I'd rather have, but, uh. I do really like this knife overall. So sometimes you get very forgiving. Okay, so we pull that screw away. There you go. And that's off. Here's your liner. That's not skeletonized on the lock bar side. That's off. Here's your bearings, ceramic, all right, just like that, very small, seem like it, or just hard to see, yeah, kind of small, but they, they're really doing the job, here's your pivot, so that's one piece, thank God. And, of course, that's got the logo, so it, it's not one where you can get a hold of it from that side either if you wanted to. And there's the other set of bearings. Here's the liner and the backspacer you can take off as well. The blade stops just stuck right in there. Comes out. Not a problem. Looks like carbon fiber all the way through. All right, we got the parts apart. I mean, I didn't pull this liner or, you know, I mean, here's the backspace or that kind of thing, but uh, I do have this liner and this scale separated on the other side. Here's your blade with detent track, etc. So we have the main... Pivot coming through from the presentation side. And it's, uh, there's no D shape on it, so I don't know. No, it, it, it can, it can turn. So be careful with any thread locker you might use from the other side. Let's throw bearings on. Uh... This blade and just a little on the detent track in here bearings and uh, our liner log bar push that on we've got our scale on top
Number eight. And number six goes in here. Okay. And now we have a pocket clip put back on. There we go. Definitely have a good fit with those, those torque screws. They seem to snap right on to the end of the, the bit. Tighten them up. All right. So that's solid. And that's centered. And there's no play. Pretty nice. I wanted a little bit more drop shutty than that. Okay, that's good. Got our nice little Reich Hummingbird Plus put back together. Everything's centered up. No blade play. No problems. No failure on the hardware side. Feels good in the hand. Do like it. Do like it a lot. And I'm going to let you go. We'll take the other little Joes here. Put them right here. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.